What could the 2023 season mean for Josh Heupel and Tennessee Volunteer Football? We talk about it all the time. Hey, 2022 can mean as much as they allow it to by cashing in in 2023. Well, let's expand on that thought a little bit more. Let's kind of unpack this, you and me. The first thing that comes to mind, recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. And right now, Tennessee has something that's very important. Momentum. Big Mo. As Chad Simmons likes to say, Big Mo is in the building. Chad Simmons, of course, director of recruiting at On3. And it's the truth. I mean, Tennessee is now the hot thing in college football. Tennessee burst onto the scene last season, getting New Year's Six Bowl victory, beating Alabama. Like, Tennessee has a ton of eyeballs on it right now. So what happens if they win double-digit games yet again? Well, I think you start to see that recruiting momentum start to, one, continue to churn. And then, two, you see a little bit more return on investment, for lack of a better term there. Because right now, in 2023 at least, Tennessee landed the number 12 class, which is great. Not top 10, but it's great. You signed everybody you wanted to sign. You landed the number one player in Nico Yamaliava. Like, there's a lot to be excited about. In 24, you have a number 15 class, according to the On3 team consensus recruiting rankings. So if you do it again... You provide proof of concept. You provide consistent proof of concept that, hey, we're going to win. And you would also imagine we're going to continue to develop our guys. Like Jalen Hyatt's going to go to the league. Hennon Hooker's going to the league. And I would imagine be somewhat high draft picks for both of them. If they do it again next year, I think you have more guys get drafted at a relatively high pick which is what these kids want. We want to win. We want to get developed. You do that for a second year in a row, starts to increase the the image of what Tennessee is, starts to increase the optics. And I say this a lot. Tennessee is installing the foundation of what they are as a program. Like we, we juxtapose Tennessee and Georgia. Kirby's been there for a lot longer than Josh Heupel's been there. But how you start to install the foundation is you have to acquire some pieces. Now, acquiring pieces... It costs something. There's some currency involved. What is the currency that is required to acquire talent and acquire a foundation? Winning. Winning and development is that currency. NIL aside, don't even worry about NIL right now. If you have a program that is consistently winning and consistently churning out NFL draft picks, you're going to cash in on that recruiting momentum. And you're going to start landing a higher caliber of player. Rather, you're going to consistently land more high-caliber players and have that foundation in-house. So Tennessee, if they do it again, the proof of concept, the consistent proof of concept, it's there. It is very much there in Knoxville. And it's a place that I would imagine a lot of kids in the Southeast are looking for a reason to jump on board with Josh Heupel and play in this exciting program and play in specifically that really exciting offense. More thoughts on that in a second. But if you have not yet subscribed, you haven't yet joined the party, we love to have you here. We talk college football every single day on this program, the Hard Count, on this On3 YouTube channel. So make sure you're locked in with us. Also, follow me on Instagram as well as on Twitter, at JD I want to hear from y'all. Now, the other piece that I think we need to take into account, if Tennessee wins double-digit games yet again in 2023, I don't think it's a stretch that Joe Milton would be balling out. So then zoom out a little bit. What does that mean? You have not one, but two quarterbacks in back-to-back years that have gone to work in Josh Heupel's offense. Hennon Hooker last year, and then Joe Milton this coming season. What we saw in that bowl game, man, I'm just telling you. If we see Uncle Rico Joe yet again dialing it in, he was dealing against Clemson. He does that in the 2023 season consistently. They will win double-digit games, and Joe Milton will have a lot of NFL draft buzz. Okay, so then zoom out even further. What does that make Tennessee under Josh Heupel? Three years, two NFL quarterbacks. Start to see it more and more as a quarterback destination. You already have your guy for the future, Nico Iamaliava, in-house. But for the future, you attract more great quarterbacks. Josh Heupel starts to be seen even more so as quarterback savant. Exciting offense to play, and you're going to put up points. You're going to put up stats. If you have the right quarterback in college football, that's over half the battle. I have stood on that hill for a long time. I'm willing to die on it. But look at the quarterbacks that were in the college football playoff a season ago. J.J. McCarthy wasn't a Heisman finalist, one of the bright young stars in our game. Max Duggan, Heisman finalist. Stetson Bennett, Heisman finalist. Uh, C.J. Stroud, Heisman finalist. You see where I'm going with this? Great teams are led by great quarterbacks. 
you attract great quarterbacks, hey, man, you're in business, all right? You're printing wins at that point. It's a good thing for everybody involved. So, again, if they win a lot of games next year, it will be in no small part due to the efforts of Joe Milton. Just based on how this ship runs, Joe Milton will have a big stat sheet that's filled out well. And again, a signal fire to future quarterbacks. You want to come play in the NFL? Want to come put up big numbers in college? Tennessee might be a good spot for you, my guy. So then when you look to the future, I think year two, last year, is about taking shape as a program. We kind of got to see what this operation under Josh Heupel is going to look like. Hey, no flinch, exciting offense, competitive as heck. Week in and week out, we're going after you. There's no flinch in us. Doesn't matter who's playing quarterback, whether it's Henry Hooker, whether it's Joe Milton, we're coming after you. That's how we get down. That's the shape they were taking. Now in year three, I believe a program starts to install the floor. Now what is the floor? It means what is the absolute worst case scenario that we're going to have within this football team? Like if the, if the whole sky falls in on us, what are we as a team? Now don't get it twisted. I'm not predicting the sky to fall on Tennessee football. What I am saying is you get to consistently figure out who they are. And I think if they do double-digit wins yet again, you will see them be a high-floor team that's a top-tier SEC team. That's who I believe they are under Josh Heupel. That's who they proved they were a season ago. But year three is about installing the floor. Double-digit wins, it's a nice floor to set. I'm just saying. And when you have a high floor... I keep going back to recruiting because it's what this game is built on. Talent acquisition. You hear a lot of outsiders talk about signing days when the national championship is won. There's some truth to that. There's some truth to that. And so installing a high floor tells recruits, hey, we're going to win a lot of ball games. We've done it now. The last two years, you saw the first year, we weren't bad either. So year three, you have a new quarterback. You lose Jalen Hyatt, so there's a little bit of a different look in terms of weapons. Bring a lot of good guys back, don't get it twisted, but you lose Jalen Hyatt, it's going to look a little bit differently in terms of the names you're calling. But the floor is what I think really gets established in 2023. And double-digit wins, nice floor to have. All right, so keep it locked right here, the hard count. Every single day, we got college football content for you. Summer, spring, winter, fall, don't matter. We got you, all right? Nick, break, lifting heavy. This is your show. Make sure you're locked in all year round. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, at JD Paquel. We want to hear from y'all, so get at me on there. But we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep the party rolling. And we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.